<laughs> it's like when you were bi curious, which really meant you were going full in on sucking dick. <laughs> full sure package. I'm holding. I'm holding my package right now. <laughs> Are you? I can't yeah. even tell. Let's blow the table. <laughs> uh, you know, and maybe it's just where we are in life. It looks like coronavirus. So <laughs> and the uh, two tone kitchen. Never seen that. I did it eight years ago. <laughs> and it's all over every magazine now. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Especially mm-hmm. the blue, the blue bottoms. Yes, blue blue islands are huge. Blue bottoms. Yep. So I'm Jay Dewey, and I'm Rob Conlon. And welcome to Could Be Better, the podcast where we pour drinks and spill the tea about what we really think about this month's issue of Better Homes and Gardens. There you go. <laughs> uh, my speech therapist loved last month's episode. <laughs> well, it was all about her. It was. <laughs> so, of course, she loved it. And she, she commented that she is a millennial. Oh, she is. Doesn't know what millennial pink is, but she knows she's okay. a millennial, so... Well, us Gen Xers are, you know, nobody cares about us anymore. Yeah, so here we are in March. Here in March, and you have a signature cocktail? I have a signature cocktail that I totally pulled out of my ass. Okay. Um, Well, kind of. There's a... uh, a, All right, I see the tie-in now. Yeah, yeah, there's kind of an article about, like, teas and healthy drinks and things like that. So I concocted what I'm calling a dark and (laughs) boochy. Because of the kombucha. Because of the kombucha. Right. Yeah. And the rum, the dark rum. Yeah. So basically, it's a spin on a dark and stormy. Um, so we have some dark spiced rum. We're using Kraken because it has an octopus on it. Of course, there. I know. Right? Yeah. Um, so we have Kraken, um, dark spiced rum, and we're using Health Aid kombucha ginger flavor to kind of do the ginger with the, you know. Got it. <clears throat> Though I did, if you hated it, I did bring ginger beer but i can tell that you like it because it's really good for your gut it's good for your gut <laughs> it's very very gingery it is kind of gingery yeah, yeah right so uh, it's, it's it's good for a rainy night like yeah this. it is yeah it's raining here in the hudson valley so um so it's dark and boochy like it is tonight. right right <laughs> Dark. Not bougie. Not bougie. bougie. That's what Bob thought I said, bougie. Yeah, I and I was like, no, bucci. bucci. And he was like, what the hell are you talking about? Well, he never heard of kombucha. Oh, really? No. I love it. Nope. And a lot of people don't. So that I didn't yeah. even I didn't even tell you about it because I didn't know if you like it or not. And I was like, <laughs> screw him. We're just... I've never had it until now. Oh, really? Never. Oh, so never. then I should give it to you without rum. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, I love it. Everybody else in my family hates it. We have just made... From what I've ever seen, the first alcoholic kombucha, right? Totally undoing the point of the article in which it's mentioned. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> which is all about like a dry... About going dry, going right. Dry. Like not using alcohol. Yeah. But hey, this is... I mean, the whole premise of this show, this whole podcast was built on being drunk. Right. So <laughs> It totally is. Oh, and, and a magazine. There's, there's a magazine part of it. Wait, so. we talk about a magazine? <laughs> no. <laughs> Speaking of which. <laughs> right. So what did you think of the cover? Um, so the cover, I believe it or not, I actually liked the cover, even though it's like totally green. Mm-hmm. But it is March. I mean, you yes. and I are currently wearing, I have shamrock deedly boppers. Deedly boppers. Okay. Yep. The little things on my head. Yep. That yeah. bounce around. Yep. And you have a big, sparkly green bow tie. Bow tie. <laughs> I'm not it's, sure which one of us looks it, worse. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's it's St. Patrick's Day. And and yeah. I knew you were going to wear green, but I, I have like one green shirt, yeah. and I think I wore it like two months ago. So, and if I, I can't wear the same shirt for a, a podcast, the same pod, another podcast in a year. Right, right. It's the way I fly. Yeah. <clears throat> but I liked it. So what's interesting is that I like the cover and then I didn't like the spread oh, later really? on in the magazine. Because I, hmm. I actually feel like the cover popped more than the, the photographs of the room later on because it's glossier hmm. probably. But what did you think? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I figured because it's green. Yeah, I mean, but everything about it. The crazy wallpaper. The crazy the wallpaper green. is awesome. Um, it did kind of seem like the comfort on the bed 
looked kind of like a sleeping bag that's been opened. It does kind of look like that, yeah. Because it has the channels touching in it. That's it. Other than that, I was a big fan. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. And it's uh, and it's got sort of leather, um, like one person's stools at the end, right? They look like camping, camping stools. Yep, yep. yep. Um, um, this is also the trends issue. So they say. So they say. Yeah. Um, I know we'll get to insight, but I was the I thought they were closer on the trends than, than they, they were have last been. year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, some of them I was still kind of like, "Why are you pushing this?" Like, I mean, yeah. come on. But I mean, but uh, there was a lot of it um, that that actually worked. Yep. yep. So, and I'm I'm keeping all of my I'm keeping my my overall opinion of the magazine um, this issue secret. All until right. we go along okay. <laughs> for surprises. So my first tag was, of course, on the editor's letter. The editor letters, letters to the editor <laughs> on page four. <laughs> See, well, I, I graduated speech therapy. Are you graduate? You're done. Yeah, I'm done. Did you get like a diploma? No, no. Did they like like a sash? Uh, no, no. And nothing. No. You know, all that work and nothing. get out of here. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> well, you sound fine. I'm just glad to be done. So. Well, that yeah. can be challenging, right? So anyway, ch- 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 changes. I tried to do that, right? <laughs> I, I can't sing, but I, it's like David Bowie, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Ch 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 changes, Change. as written. As a, oh, I thought I was supposed to sing it. You should. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what you meant. I to think do. that's. What, I mean, it it it, it um, conjured the song, right? <laughs> so, uh, right. So and there's there's Stephen. He's so cute. Now that he's not in white jeans. <laughs> no, he does look cute. I'm I'm he starting does, to yeah. fall for him. Okay. I have two tags in the page. Okay. Oh. One is, um, he talks about how there are 32 million readers. Mm-hmm. That means we should have 32 million listeners, but we don't. We don't. So. so that, well, I don't do math. Yeah, okay. Well. That's why I have anyway. a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other tag I had was, uh, in the uh, towards the end of the letter, he talks about how um, how we challenge him. Right. <laughs> So <laughs> says, we love that you challenge us with a wide range of opinions on what you enjoy and what you dislike. <laughs> so, it's like, oh, that's us. That's <laughs> that you're talking to right to us. So that's exactly before I even looked at it. Um, we got we got uh, our one of two subscriptions that come in yep. now. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> Tim had looked at it and he's like, wait until you see this month's letters. And, uh, <laughs> it's all about you and Jay. Uh, <laughs> It's like I'm sure it is. Does, does he call us out? Does he mention us? Um, he's like, no, but read it. So I, that I sat down and read. That's all I did was read that, and then look at the rest of the magazine. I was like, oh my god, it is about us. It is. We do yeah. challenge them. Yeah, we do share what we like and don't like, or love or hate. We, we do. For every idea you in this issue that one reader may not want any part of, <laughs> there could be several. <laughs> Another reader might cherish it, and but we always say that. Right, we always say that what we it's have to just say. Just design, right. and if you like it, go for right. it. Right, and what we have to say is important. I mean, really important, but you don't have to Vital. listen to it. <laughs> Vital. <laughs> oh god! You don't have to agree with us to feel like it's important. Exactly. We never even cheers our kombucha. Oh, oh sorry. Shit. Yeah. Ready. Cheers. That's for all you tea lovers out there. So what was your next tag? My next tag uh, was on page 10 in the trends section. Because it is the trends issue. Yes. So we're going to talk about some trends. All right. Right. Um, many of these... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just trying to scratch my head and I have these... Dilly about? Dilly about. Dilly I was like, what the hell's on my head? Dilly about, yeah. <laughs> um, 
many of the trends I marked because I, I like them so much that I've already done them. Fuck. Oh my God. So, <clears throat> do you, see, I'm not telling you, but look at, look at my, oh, wait, yeah. look at my tags. Yep. They're all the same color. Mm-hmm. Because I either love it or I've already done already it. Done, yeah. <laughs> so I put a tag on page 10, uh, which is talking about a uh, trend of day beds. Day beds. Because over Christmas, Bob announced that he wanted to put more seating in our living room. Okay. And um, he suggested two club chairs. Okay. And I said, well, that seems like a little much. What about a day bed or a bench in front of the window? Okay. And he completely disagreed. <laughs> Club chairs is it. That's all he wants. So I. So you're going to try to show him? Look, Bob, day beds are in. Day beds are in. And honestly, the one, they don't really number them, but I think it's the, is it the crash pad one? The yellow one? Mm-hmm. With the, that, you could totally do that in your living room. Totally. Like it's very sleek. Yep. Right, and it's it's got that slidable pillow. Mm-hmm. I think I'll just buy it, drop it off. Okay. I'm not in on the day beds right now, but we've done day beds in our house before. Okay. Uh, but in more traditional ones, sort of like the the white one here, that that kind of looks like a looks like a sofa almost. Like it looks like a bed. Yeah. yeah. Bed rails. Yep that create a sofa. Mm-hmm. We had one like that in our house um, in Westchester uh, that we used for guests because it was a long, narrow room, right? Mm-hmm. So if we put a bed in it, it would have just been useless. Yeah. And so we put a day bed in it and then it could be pulled out. It was really cool. All right. <clears throat> um, so, so did you buy the club chairs? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're... We're paying medical bills. That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> I thought, thought you were going to say you don't love him that much. <laughs> Page 12. Do you have a tag? I don't. <clears throat> you don't have a tag. But you do? Oh my God. This is my first tag for love. Okay. Are you looking at these paper, Tell us why. These paper flowers? They're paper plants. <laughs> The, so the are uh, page twelve. the The feature is the decorative planters are a trend, which I didn't really think was ever not a trend. Right. Like I mean, the people like <clears throat> always have planters and usually decorative in Especially the house with the house plant craze. Right. Going on. So at any rate, you know, maybe people don't. But then I was like. Who cares about the planters? Look at these paper plants. And there you can buy them. Um, Corey Beth Hogg makes them at Handmade House Plants. We're following her. Oh, that's why we're following her. <laughs> you're like, when we get a new when we follow someone new, you're like, what yeah. is Rob doing? <laughs> but I but also you can buy her book and learn how right. to do this yourself. I love them, even though I'll never do it. And it looks, um, <clears throat> they at first glance, some of them look really real and some of them don't. Yep. Um, and, but I like that part of it because mm. you can almost see that it's crafted. Okay. I don't know. I just loved it. Um, Tim looked at it and said, oh, my God, dust collector. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, yeah, but I mean, you wouldn't leave it. I mean, it's a novelty, right? You're not going to, it's like silk flowers. I mean, you're right, you but not silk. They're paper. They're paper. <laughs> no, I thought it was cool, but I guess I felt much like Tim. I was like, I'm not going to do this. And, um, you're going to just rain on my parade. I'd rather, no, I'm life. just, I'm just, I'm, this is my opinion. You're going to soak my paper plant. <laughs> no, no. you, when you're done, just throw them in the fire anyway. So. I thought they were funky, but then I, when you look at her, at her um, Instagram, I mean, some of it's pretty labor intensive. Like it's like you, you cut out the paper and then you paint all of these oh. leaf things, right? Yeah. And I know how you like crafts. Yeah. That's why so, I didn't tag it. <laughs> anyway, I thought that the paper plants by uh, 
Cory Beth Hogg were nicer than the planters themselves. So that's why I tagged it for love. I right. love it. On page 16, we have uh, what's new in home design. So there are many trends here. <laughs> I just I tagged the ones that... That you've already done. We've already, <laughs> we've already done that they've already talked about. So... Um, the uh, multi- Look, I'm already done with my first drink. Multicolored oh uh, kitchen pendants. Yup. Done. Done. Um, the uh, gallery wall, including TV. Done. Done. Still have it right now. Dark house colors on exterior paint. Painted our last house really dark. Very, very trendy, uh, <laughs> but definitely I haven't done it because our house is white. Right. I would love to, though. Yep, we painted but, ours <clears throat> dark, 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 like mm. gray, blue. Yeah. Oh. But we've seen it many times. Here. Yeah, that's not new. It's trendy. Um, and the uh, two tone kitchen. Never seen that. I did it eight years ago. <laughs> and it's all over every magazine now. Yeah. yeah. Like, right? Especially mm-hmm. the blue, the blue bottoms. Yes, the blue, blue islands are huge. Blue bottoms. Yep. So one, two, three. Four of these seven trends are way borderline overexposed. Overexposed. Right. Yeah. But I like overexposure. <laughs> <laughs> In so your men. how many is it? There, how, there's seven of them. So seven, six, seven trends. six out of the seven I have done. The only one I haven't done is dog beds. Right. Because I don't have a dog. Yeah. But we currently are watching the hunt, not hundreds. That's an exaggeration. I never exaggerate. Um, <laughs> the, the tens of blossoms on our, um, oh my God, Meyer lime tree? Meyer lemon. Our Meyer, Meyer lemon, lemon tree. Okay. In our, in our house, like Great. number five. Meyer, oh yeah, it says right there, Meyer lemons. That's what we have. <laughs> <laughs> Meyer lemons and Thai limes grow well in containers. We have one in a container. Great. Right now, I'm on trend. You are. Yeah. Jeez, I should be in this. I also like that they said, move over, fiddly fig. <laughs> you <laughs> you and that hate relationship with that damn fig. <laughs> and But our friends have one, and it's doing great. Who? Jeffrey and Ross. They do? And it's yeah. working? It's growing. Is it, re- is it real? Is it not paper? Uh, actually, I didn't go over Did and you check. touch it? I didn't touch it. It could be paper. could be. <laughs> They've got a paper. <laughs> a paper plant. Yeah. Oh, they'd be so on trend. They would. And you know what? Knowing Jeffrey and Ross, they probably made it themselves. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, <laughs> Jeffrey could make it out of power. Probably out of power, yeah. yeah. All right, right. so moving on. I'm on page 18. Page 18, yes. I have a tag also. Uh, Foliage is in. (laughs) So they're saying that that, uh, even though everyone loves flowers, that foliage can be Uh a highlight in your garden too. So they have a whole uh, table of uh, heuchera leaves. I never knew what this was called. I well, I I knew what it was called. I didn't know how to pronounce okay. it. Okay, <clears throat> so I went online and listened to Google say "hugura" about twenty times. Oh, uh, okay, "hugura," "hugura." Um, I feel like that's not what it's called. They say coral bell, coral bells heal, but I don't feel that's like the, that's what they call it either. When the, the, well, um, I always figured that coral bells were the hugeras that were actually coral colored. Okay, um, but then two years ago. <clears throat> Our landscaper planted uh, some green hugeras all along our front walkway. Okay. Because I, we have, I think it's number, it's either number one or number five. So one is obsidian or five is forever purple. We have some of those, but I don't feel like that's what it was called when we bought them. You know how when you go to like the box stores and they call them a different name yeah. so that you'll buy them? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but that's why I have a tag for love. Exactly, I love it. I've yeah. done it already. It's in my garden. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> we can we can just check off these trends. Exactly, <laughs> super trendy. Super trendy. <laughs> and done. Um, 
But I agree. These are they have amazing color that yeah. last for a long time. A long time, yeah. And they're lining our front walkway. They, uh, so you have the sort of the green Tony ones, like yeah, eleven and twelve ish, um, yeah, around there. Yep. So uh, lemon love and northern exposure lime. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I like I like the orange tones. I feel like you have to have a specific palette though to have those. I don't really. We don't have like orangey stuff in our yeah, in our I, gardens. I agree. So, yeah. Um, but I do like the variation. I mean, you know, and I love foliage. Mm-hmm. You know, hostas. Right. All it's right. a beautiful flat lay. <laughs> oh my god! We're, I'm flipping, flipping, flipping. What's stopping at twenty three? Twenty three. I have a tag there too. Uh oh. Go ahead. Um, it's I have a meh. A meh. Yeah. I have a tag for love. All right. I love it. Why do you love it? Because Tim knows how to cane. Oh, really? Yeah. So. All right. That's that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and because because he knows how to cane, and we have we have pieces in our home that he has cane. Oh, cool! I hmm. I appreciate the craft of it because it is very labor intensive. I'm sure. <clears throat> so, um, did he learn how to cane when he was a kid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's a skill you learn as a kid, and then you always have it. Yes. Well, and that's Tim. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my husband. Mm-hmm. Right. He does. You know what he just did a what is it? He'll tell me what it's really. He he did a seat with um, suspender strapping. He did a whole okay. like right, he knows how to do that, and he knows how to cane, and you know he's had every job on the face of the <laughs> earth. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> so I appreciate it. I don't, and we have pieces of caned caned pieces, I should say. Um, but I don't. I would not seek it out. If, I, if it wasn't okay. a loved one's <clears throat> mm. craft. Um, I had a, a tag for meh because this is definitely a trend that I've seen. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, and they show you in the at the bottom all the places you can buy caned pieces. So it's definitely trendy right. and, and happening right now. But to me, it looks very retro, but like in a very dated way. So, I, But I did like that here they were pairing these lampshades with some velvet. Yes. So that was a cool update. Um, but just caning on its own, I feel like, you know, it's, to me, it just screams. Peacock chair. Peacock chair. <laughs> Seven, it's 70s, 70s, 80s, <laughs> and then, then I lose interest. Right. right. So like on, on the bottom of page 23, they actually have like a one of those um, cane, a caned dining chair that yeah. were very popular when we were younger. Oh, yes, like yeah. everybody had them. Yeah. So there is this sort of thing. I don't know. There's something about the seventies that, I mean, it's coming back in some ways, but I just have this like, ugh, yeah. For some of that decor. Yep. You know, definitely. Ugh. Ugh, yeah. But I did tag the whole feature for love. See, by right. the end of this, by the end of this love fest, I'm gonna get invited to Stephen Orr's house. All right. <laughs> That's my whole goal. <laughs> it would be new for us. To, it would be new. We for loved us. everything. Yeah, we loved it. <laughs> Page twenty-eight. Page twenty-eight. I had a tag for love. I had so much of a tag for love. You should see the guest bathroom. I already did. I I, I already it. I already right, used it. All right, you used it. I used it. You used the Blue Land foaming hand soap. I did. That I bought after seeing it right here. After se- oh my god! So that worked for the first time ever. It this did. magazine it worked. It did. I actually bought something <laughs> because I love the idea. Right. Of, so we of, should tell them what the idea yeah, is because we're just talking the about idea, hand soap. <laughs> the idea is reducing uh, plastic right. packaging mm-hmm. for things. So this is all a whole bunch of kind of like hand wash or sanitary products where you can skip the plastic bottle yep. and buying things that are either you reuse the same glass bottle over and over again right. or it's biodegradable or something like that. So what I bought was the Blue Land Foaming Hand Soap. Okay. Starter kit. Right. So it comes with three uh, scented right. discs that dissolve into a foaming hand soap. Oh, Okay. 
And so, uh, and then you add your own water. You add your own water. Oh, I love this. Yep. But I mean, I'm just. I, I. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was really cute. Mm -hmm. I didn't really. I. I didn't really get a seasonal experience from it. Though. That's where they need our help. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's going winter neutral. You no, know, because the <laughs> no, the three s smells in the start back are iris, okay, lemon lime, and eucalyptus lavender. All uh, very generic. Yeah, yeah, very generic. And I yeah. guess if you're not into seasonal hand soaps, which everyone in the country is, so yeah. I don't know why they have to. So what we need to do for them is to create a curated... Um, I don't know, seasonal or 12 month package? We should. Mail order. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, it's all mail order. Yeah. Oh, it is all. This yeah. is mail order. Oh, it I is, didn't know yeah. this one was mail order. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I don't know how to do the production. No. Well, all he needs is, is the scent and he's. And, and, and I just make somebody some, else. I, yeah. I have somebody else do it. Somebody else will do it. Sounds like money. Yeah. Sounds like upfront money. Right. Do you got that? No. Okay. No. <laughs> So for now, you will enjoy <laughs> eucalyptus, lavender, <laughs> lemon, lime, and iris. That's awesome. Uh, but I also have a tag here because we talked before about using Mrs. Meyer's products. Yep, yep. And for my all-purpose cleaner, I use Mrs. Meyer's concentrate. Same idea, yep. just reusing an old plastic bottle. Same idea. I... The whole thing, <clears throat> excuse me, the whole thing here, I loved because, and we've talked about this before, um, my family has, has started this new year um, with this exact concept that mm -hmm. we are, we have stopped purchasing um, salad dressing, ketchup, anything in a plastic bottle. Great. Um, everything we buy is in a glass bottle. Um, if we can't buy it in a glass bottle or a recyclable container, we try to figure out a way to make it, mm -hmm. right? So we stopped <clears throat> packaging freezer stuff in Ziploc bags, and we use freezer paper, which, you know, there's you know there's still some challenges there. But at least it's not all this plastic over and over yeah. again. Yep. So it, when I turned this page, I was like, love it, doing it. Um, so I thought it was really awesome. Loved yep. it. I would do more of these, um, but then I realized that, like, say for the toothpaste, which is you chew a little bite-sized thing, and then you use your toothbrush in there. It's really cool idea, super expensive. That's the, that's the So that's the challenge that we're yeah. finding, right? Yep. Some of the things that we go to buy in the store that we try to, to be more, you know, green and earth-friendly about – you could pay like two or three dollars more for, and yeah. I'm like, oh, it's ketchup, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, yeah. and so you're yeah. like trading off, like uh, you know. That's why we've actually started making some more of our stuff, and yeah. that's that's to, that's thanks to you and your yogurt making. Ah, well, it's true. I do make my own yogurt, right. and for years we haven't bought um, salad dressing. <sighs> yeah. Except now now. Bob and the kids are into ranch dressing, which. But you can sort of make your own ranch. Yeah, sort of. It's, it's hard to f it's hard to get the right flavors with yeah. a ranch, but. Um, you could probably do it with buttermilk, but I don't really like buttermilk. Well, nobody likes buttermilk. <laughs> it's just a flavor it's in a, what you what you put in. <laughs> did you ever drink buttermilk? No, why would you? Well, because well, I did when I was a kid. So I. You thought it was a thing. Well, I went and saw it. My dad used to buy it, like, just to have, like, to drink it. To, like, drink? It's so... And then, so I went and was like, oh, I'm going to have some buttermilk. No. It sounds so good. Butter and milk. No, 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 no. It's And I did. So... I was like, oh, my God. This it's, is horrible. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. I mean, we we cook with it, like, bake with it and yep. things like that, but not. Yeah. And and it definitely gives a tang to things. So mm -hmm. if you don't really like tang. Yeah. Oh, my God. So we're totally holding the packaging. We are. <laughs> Hold your package. I'm holding. I'm holding my package right now. <laughs> Are you? I can't yeah. even tell. Well, it's below the table. I can't see. <laughs> you're so <laughs> stealth. <laughs> P. 
page 34. Uh, 34. We have five more trends to watch. Um, True. So I... I these I I don't know if these are really trends, but I I I have a tag for love on the uh, marbling. Oh, okay. Because that you see it later on in the magazine. You do see it later on in a better in a better. Right yeah. now, the bubble marbling, it really looks like, uh, you know, and maybe it's just where we are in life. It looks like coronavirus. So. <laughs> so like, just looks like, come on! It, like it looks petri dish. like a petri dish, yeah, doesn't it? Does, it? Yeah. it kind of, so, yeah. and I know they had no idea <laughs> when they when they right. put this spread together right. that we'd all be like washing our hands until they are bleeding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, oh, that little marbling that looks like a disease. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. But so it looks on, better later on. on, a, on a, it's on a tray here. Yeah. It's nice round like a Petri dish. Right. Um, then, then I have a tag for hate on the uh, the uh, dyed pink dried foliage. I don't even understand that. Did I you get it? Let's, well, I mean, this is very 80s. Like no, it, I know, but I, like... every Every house had a vase of dried... I know, but they're saying put these pink ones in your dried things. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. (laughs) It's like, like, listen to it. Like, adding color to dried florals gives them a cool, fresh feel. Now I'm a super fan. Pink Sun Palms, $16 for a pack of five. No. I I was like, I don't understand what, like... First of all, you have so you have a vase of dried shit, right? Like, yep. I have like I don't know, like like what, pussy willows and yeah. fern, dead ferns. I don't know, all right? And I'm gonna put these pink fans in them. Yep. Yeah. No. So that was page thirty-four. More trends on page thirty-six. So we're curious. This is where our drink came what? from. <laughs> This sober page. What I am not <laughs> sober curious. I am. I'm. I'm still a lightweight. You are still lightweight. But, you're, um, you're. You're. I still don't endorse it. You don't endorse it. Well, well I mean, can uh, I get it? I mean, I do get it. There's this whole. Um, there is a whole trend, right? And they even talk about it. Go sober for October, which I had not heard about. No, nope. no. Nope. Um, but dry January, yes. All like yep. a lot of our friends, uh, and that was the, what was the other one? People went vegan for. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, that, it's fine. Um, but this is where this is where mixing um, a healthy beverage like kombucha with alcohol. <laughs> came from right this is my inspiration right. you're just it's <laughs> it's like when you were bi curious which really meant you were going full in on sucking dick like <laughs> so, you think, <laughs> <laughs> so you're just sober curious so you're going full in on not being sober okay <laughs> all right i thought you'd say it was the opposite like you're actually sober and no. just saying oh i'm sober curious <laughs> Just, just to save face with my friends. Oh. <laughs> just to save face. Oh God! Well, I don't want to tell everyone I'm not drinking anymore. It's well, I, you know, so, so on a, a real serious note, that is a challenge for some some of our friends too, sure. right? and a lot of yeah. folks who are sober, right? Mm-hmm. Having to do that introduction and have to finally say, for whatever reason, health. Um addiction or abuse, whatever it is, yeah. can be challenging to introduce that oh, to, your, to your friends. Yeah. Um, and we're not saying you shouldn't be sober. You can absolutely 100% be sober, and we have lots of friends that we support in that, um, but not on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> not here. Not here. <laughs> My other tag for hate on this page has to do with the fact that <clears throat> many of these beverages they're calling out are hop flavored yeah i hate hops. i hate hops Ugh. yeah so Ugh. i had uh, this is my this i put a little x uh, uh tag 
for love and a tag ah. for hate crossed mm. over um, on this page because I do love the concept of healthier. Uh, you know, nothing on this page is a diet soda, right? So remember, remember all the years that when you wanted to be healthy, your option was water or diet soda. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now the fact that there are tons of options that we can drink, like kombucha. <laughs> Um, I think that's amazing and it's it's a good thing for us, but there are tons of hops here. Right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, just a lot. At least four. Um, one of them is quinine flavored bitters and soda. <sighs> Have you ever had quinine? No. It's a little... I mean, it's, 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 I mean like... It, it, tonic water is quinine. Yeah, I, so I if you're like full it. on quinine, it's really strong. Like it's, yeah. I don't mind tonic, but quinine is like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be our next drink. Oh boy, <laughs> going from kombucha, awesome quinine. <laughs> so, um, but drink up, folks. Uh, page, I stopped on page forty-six. I tagged there. I did too. Um. I love it. <gasps> this is birds and botanicals. Oh my god! I threw my arms in the air. You did. loved it. Yeah, I did. I thought you were gonna hate it. Really? Yeah. Cause I loved it. Okay. Um, so this is home objects that are very kind of um, ornate and fancy botanicals and birds designs. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't, I wouldn't buy all of them, but, no, but I no, love no. the uh, the pink and green wallpaper. Very like Art Deco. Yeah, yeah. they say it's inspired by William Morris. But well, right, I, I was like, oh, Frank Lloyd Wright building, or like it's got like, well, he doesn't really like wallpaper, but um, it's very point in time, and yep. the instant you look at it, you're like, oh my god. That's so throwback, mm -hmm. um, and I loved it. I actually loved all of it, except I didn't like number five. Number five is a duvet set. I just thought it was a little dark. It's like a dark okay. navy, right? Yeah. Um, I wasn't crazy about uh, number seven, the bowl. Eh, but it's a, it's a bowl. bowl. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bowl. How do you object to a bowl? I don't object to a bowl. Page 48. Page 48. These are paint can lids. Very deep in. Very, yeah. Yeah. Well, trends take up a lot of time. <laughs> Just a <couple> of time. <laughs> Here's your paint can lids. This month it is blue and yellow. Yep. And while I always love a pink can lid, and I don't mind these colors. Yep. Um, they did point out exactly what I was feeling when I saw this for the first time. All right. I'm ready. For some people, <clears throat> um, the combo can skew traditional. Right. Like like uh, provincial French country. Yep. That's exactly what I always think of. Oh, gosh. Wow. So it, it's better, I think, on the next page. It's better on the next. It's great on the In next practice. page because cause the, yeah. the yellow they're using has a green undertone to yeah. it, which is why you like it. Um, <clears throat> but I had, of course, tag to talk for, about the pink head lids. But now that I, I heard your statements, I don't think I want to talk anymore. No, you can talk. Because we have multiple rooms in our house that are blue and yellow. But <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but you did it the right way. It doesn't skew French provincial. It, no, it, it's, it skews kind of country, I think. Right. Well, I mean, like, if you opened up any issue of country living, right? Oh, it was in totally. The, oh, in it was the totally. 80s, it was this, this was palette. It. Yeah, it was this palette for sure, but slightly different because this is a very dark blue. Yes, and very right, like orangey uh, yellows. Yeah, for sure. Because they even have like marigolds. So the right, the right. tableau here has lots of fabrics. And there's only four paint can lids, and then there's a whole bunch of like ribbons and fabrics and tassels, like sort of pushing you in the direction of that French country, right? Yeah. And then marigolds, which are really an orangey yellow, mm -hmm. and sometimes full on orange. So, um, but I loved it because I I love blue, and 
um, I love blue with yellow. And I have rooms in my house so that are like that that I obviously have to redecorate before you come over. No, I just said <laughs> they don't skew. French Wait, I'm gonna start putting. You know, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put cocks because you know how the French country had all the. Like, oh yeah, the, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. chicken sculptures yeah. and. <laughs> I'm gonna put some cocks in our rooms, and then see what you say. So on page fifty. Yep. The rooms in practice, they say they saw it at the Kipps Bay. New York show house last year. Which and you still me, haven't taken me to. I haven't gone. I don't know. No, I, I thought you were taking me to it. I don't know if I can go this year. Ah, ah. Um, but that room, the picture, mm-hmm. to me seems very traditional and very French country. But that was their inspiration. That, right. So, it, but it's also minimized, right? So it's it's got yeah. a yeah. canopy bed, right? It's got a very... Yeah. Um, it's... Traditional, no yeah. matter what you do, right? It's very colors. traditional, right? Um, but they s- modernized it in in Christina Bryant's um, design. <clears throat> Again, she used she used more yellows that aren't well. One of the yellows is orangey, but the yellow in the living room has more of a green hint to it. And, yes, um, right. it's very bohemian, mm-hmm. right? Instead of French country, right? Because she's bohemian. <laughs> well, she is. Is she? St. Frank, her bohemian home furnishings. Oh, right. It says that, yep. It We're does. following her, yeah. so be careful. All right. <laughs> Can't say anything bad about Christine and Brian. Uh, <laughs> like, we haven't said anything bad about people we follow. <laughs> <laughs> no, her living room is beautiful. It is. It's the dark uh, blue from Fairy and Ball. Yep. This really like citron yellow couch. Yep. Um, and then oh the uh, uh, but the dining room is not hers. It's that's from Sherwin Williams. Oh right right right. So but I like so, that too. Yeah, and they're sort of layering the they're laying the color layering the colors through the room. So there's a yellow um, sort of dining area into a. And you see through the doorway, there's a blue room, and it's, and a further on, there's another blue room. So they're <clears throat> they're mixing the colors throughout the rooms, but they're also sort of making the walls. The, yeah, so uh, it's it's not like blue and yellow in the same room, right? But they just from where you sit, you're you can always see the colors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a, we should do that. It's a good idea. I don't have rooms though. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> it's a great idea if you have rooms. Oh my god! On page fifty-two, uh, article called "The High Contrast." The Brady Tolbert. We're so following him. He, I know. I figured you were. <laughs> he's the. He's the. Uh, he's he's not- the creative director for Bobby Burke, right? Who's one of the queer eye guys. Right, and he worked for um, Emily Henderson, who mm-hmm. had won one of the HD, HGTV design stars yes, yep. years ago. Yep. We've seen this <laughs> oh, no. apartment before. <laughs> oh, my God. Literally, because if you go to page 22 in this month's House Beautiful. I know. It's... <laughs> I was so confused. I opened up. I was like, wait. You're like, wait. Then wait. Didn't what? What? Is it, what? Who? Oh. What? Where? Oh no, that was oh. uh, Bobby Burke. Oh wait, oh, it, are, are they duplicates? They look the <laughs> same. They have the same style, <clears throat> which is really interesting when you think about the fact. So there's probably those three thirty-two million and those three million that are listening to us, yeah. right? So if you think about it, there's probably some stats about how many how many are freakazoids like us that get all of the magazines? Yeah. And how many are the ones that like this is all, their whole entree into the world? Yeah, and so then it looks really like oh look neat and exciting. Mm-hmm. But then if you're like flipping through four or five of them, like I have, I'm yeah. like oh, that's the same color I saw in the mm-hmm. last magazine. <laughs> that's yeah. the same living room I saw two months ago. Yeah, and <laughs> those are the same people that were also profiled in the other magazine. Exactly. I mean, not that, I mean, a, a cute gay guy is, I mean, I never turn one of those down. 
<laughs> but I mean, sometimes. I mean, the thing that I really thought about this whole thing is that they start out by saying that Brady is not as easily intimidated. And I thought, by anything but color. Like, oh, uh, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a- White walls. Well, he's got camel. Black accent. He's got camel. camel. Right. That's right. camel. Which also carries through to our cover shoot. Right. So that's a trend also. But, you know, it's a very limited palette. So did you not think he was cute, though? Come on. Uh, well, it's a very small picture. I was thrown off by the fact that his boss was in... In the last... House Beautiful. <laughs> House Beautiful, right. And has the same style... Well, it's the same, like, and we've seen this a million times before. And he's pajamas. I I don't think th- I think they're lounge pants. Wait, I'm gonna look closer. They're like capris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Same thing. God, I can't believe you're so being so I didn't, douchey. I didn't get. I didn't. I couldn't. Didn't. Descend far enough to you didn't you didn't actually his looks, you though. didn't actually get so you no. didn't get a boner on this no, oh, no. okay jeez no. well <sighs> I don't know there's caning <laughs> there's caning on page fifty four I have a te- yes caning right the a through line see they're listening so trendy he he's doing it too <laughs> but. It's about the trend issue. Come on! I know. Wow, you're so tough this month. No, I'm not. I'm actually have a lot. Most of the tags are for you. Like, are there? <laughs> Z one. What did you think? We're talking about coral again. I hated every <laughs> tagged it for hate. I didn't even want to look at it. Oh, you liked it? I no, I didn't like it. But what I did notice is that <clears throat> the. Uh, so there's more color cues with coral. Right. The palace that gave us at the bottom of the page. Yeah. Scream 1980s to me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sea but foam. The, yeah. The the room that they picture on top does not scream 80s. It seems very now. So because so it's like what is There's a right way and a wrong way to right. do so this. Right. So the room that they feature on Z1 is... It is a total combination... It's kind of bohemian, right? It's got a mixture of sort of the blues that we've been talking about, the coral, um, large prints, small prints. Um, I still didn't like it, though. I don't know. It's just page 74. Did you tag that? Tea time. Um, I, I didn't tag that page. I tagged the next page, but... Um, Kombucha. Yeah. So this is Stephen Orr's... About making tea from herbs in your garden. By Stephen Orr. It is. Um, I, again, I've grown many of these herbs. I can't say I've ever, ever made them into tea because I know that I wouldn't like it. <sighs> Aside from throwing some mint or lemongrass into like black tea to make iced tea. So you don't like a flavor tea at all? You don't have like a minty, uh, a herbal, no, a chamomile. It doesn't do it for me. Ginger, lemon, kombucha. Ginger, lemon will be fine. <laughs> but you no know, chamomile, hmm. lavender, no. no. Cinnamon? Um, yeah, but I'm not growing cinnamon. Well, why not? Because it doesn't grow here. <laughs> I'm not a huge tea drinker to begin with, but my mother and Tim are. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and and things like, and Michael loves flavors like lavender and herby stuff. So, um, but we usually wind up infusing alcohol with it instead of yeah. tea. <laughs> yeah. Why would you, why would you make tea? <laughs> why would you make tea? <laughs> but, but the, but I would say I, the one thing that I did tag in the article was on page seventy six and all the like little tea blends. Yeah, there is a little there is a tea shop in Provincetown um, called the Captain's Daughters. That this oh is, yeah this is their thing mm-hmm. right and so 
because my mother loves tea and her <clears throat> one of her close relatives loves it too. Every time we go there, we mm-hmm. go to see what sort of like unique blend they've yeah. made. So um, that's fun to me, right? Cool. People who are into tea and know how to blend it, that's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's not you, obviously, but... Uh, well, I, I like growing the herbs and I, I wish I did like these kind of teas more so I could use the herbs more, but... But you don't. I don't. But you aren't, Blanche. You aren't. So <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, Friday night. We haven't done a Friday night in a while. I know, I know. Right? Turning, turning, uh, turning. Food. Lots food, of food. Lots of food. Food, more food, and then on ninety two, ninety two, we get risk and reward. Decorating by designer Jessica Stambaugh. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) On ninety three, there's a beautiful. I was wait. I was waiting. Like, where are we going with this? So, there's a tibla. There's a tibla or a flat lay, depending, a fl- <laughs> depending on who you ask. I got. Um, I know. I don't have a fun way of saying flat lay. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's, flat, it's flat, lay. flat lay. There's a flat lay. Yep. Um. This was one of the when I look at the individual objects i'm like ah, i don't really like it but then overall I'm like, it's pleasing uh, right so she basically her whole concept is she pulls swatches um and colors and um pictures so it's a what do they call them mood board a mood oh my god see i'm doing a, a podcast <laughs> of that. and i'm like what do they call it a vision quest <laughs> A mood board. It, basically, she creates a mood board. Yep. And Jay likes the mood board. Which is, I, li- I like the mood board. I don't like it turned into a room, though. No. So on page 94, she makes it into a room, which I absolutely despise. Yeah. However. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this. I t- page 96. On page 96. This is one of my favorite things I've ever seen in this magazine. Oh, give me a fucking break. I ever? love it. I love ever? it. Ever. Oh, Jesus. I've ever I seen don't... it. I love it. You should spend some time with me because I have from 1976. I love it too, but <laughs> ever. So she used a chartreuse subway tile in your kitchen. Yeah. Floor to ceiling. Floor to ceiling. All the way around in the whole room. Yep. And it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I actually really, I have a tag for love too. And, and she painted the ceiling sort of there. It's, it's not. It, so remember the last couple of months, it's been like, we we're going to paint the whole room exactly the same color yeah, floor yeah. and ceiling. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this is not it. There's a nice yeah. con- contrasting ceiling. I really liked it. Not There's, white. Not white. A gray. Um, and the, there's caned chairs yes. yep. from, from the 80s, mm-hmm. um, right out of Three's Company. <laughs> True. <laughs> so late 70s, early 80s. On page 100, we're falling for ferns all over again. Yes. This is where our cover shoot came in. Um, again, this could skew very uh, retro but there's some they managed to keep it they kept, fresher. Yeah, I think it's it, it I mean it definitely has that 70s vibe. Mm-hmm. But I think there's something more So in the 70s a lot of things felt very heavy, like there was lots of like bulky square like this room, like the spindle legs on the coffee table, keep it open. Mm-hmm. Right? In the 70s, all of my family had like big chunky coffee tables in the middle of a room like this. Yeah. Right. So, <clears throat> because remember, 
we had to put a place uh, we had to have a place to put our tv which is huge right <laughs> It was a big cabinet. It was a big cabinet, right? Yeah. So this is so it feels light, lighter, and a little bit more airy. Even though they painted the the wall dark green, right? And they painted the wainscoting it even darker green. Yes. But at least there's some dimension to it. Yeah. No, I actually, for as much as I hate green, I actually like the room. And this uh, camel brown. Colors, the accent. Yeah, it's. I, I mean, it, it's surprisingly appealing to me. Considering if you set, if you named all of these things individually, I'd be like, gross, <laughs> <laughs> gross. Ew. Ew. Dun, dun, dun. The throwback. So, uh, Rob, where are we going in our BHG throwback time machine this month? Nineteen seventy-two. Going back to mushroom, mushroom lamps. lamps, which I didn't know it was a thing to go back to, but hey. Uh, well, um, I remembered for some reason in a past issue of Architectural Digest, <laughs> they talked about the creator of the mushroom lamp. Oh, um, Gabrielle Crispy, and here the it is again, female designer from the seventies. She created the mushroom lamp. It was a huge hit at the time and inspired all of these, uh, the past iterations and these modern yep. versions. That's from the July 2019 issue of Arch. Oh, but Die. this, but this actually, this spread, their, their throwback is from the May 1972 issue. Yes. You weren't even born. Nope. I was. I was too. I was turning to. I was not born. I actually, this is going to be, so I actually didn't mind the, the piece at all because the mushroom lamps are kind of fun. The only thing I don't like about them is they cast all the light downward. Mm-hmm. And so it's very a very specific lamp. But, and this is going to shock you. I fucking love this bedroom. That does shock me. <laughs> I'm shocked. I have no idea why. Really? It's like orange and brown and black it's and white. Diamonds. It's like the wallpaper matches the the comforter. Yeah. It's horrible. It's so horrible. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we had a lot of uh, likes and or already did it. It was pretty much the tag for love, tag for I did it. That's good though. We've had a good. we've had a couple months of like yeah. hate everything. This was a lot better than oh they've done. So this was it. So this is March, right? We'll wrap it up. Yep. I'll say I'm Rob Tom. and I am Jay Dewey. But your home and your garden is just a little bit better than your neighbors. And your best friend. Could Be Better is hosted by Rob Conlon and Jay Dewey and is produced and edited by Jay Dewey. Theme music is by Ben Sound. Subscribe today on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you get your podcasts. Or listen at couldbebetterpodcast.com. Want some free Could Be Better stickers or coasters? Email us at couldbebetterpodcast.com. You can also follow the guys on Facebook and Instagram. Make the lemon tiramisu. Enjoy it. It's fun. So so it's like that it's like the whole thing now where they're trying to sell us margarine as plant butter. Yes. Right? Sell it's that. like when you yep. when you try to like reframe something for what we're already using it for, yeah. I'm like, you're just selling me shit. <laughs> <laughs>